Well, my boat's been lifted. Mary Fisher 805. And there's a few jobs to do. So, firstly, I've got to get the prop off. I had the prop done last year in March. And I was coming back from Weymouth. Off, it's an underwater object. Just outside Cows. I was in plenty of water. God knows what it was. And it's uh, dinged the blade. Not too bad, but that's got to come off and be refurbed. Taking it off the handball propellers. So we've got to drop the rudder first, and then we'll get the uh, prop off. Also, as well, we've got to do the cutlass bearing. That's uh, worn as well. And hopefully, the shaft will be uh, okay. And clearly, there's plenty of uh, work to be done underneath. Give it a light sand, a few anodes, and uh, that'll be that done. So, look, watch the videos, see how it's done. But first job. Let's tackle taking the rudder off. Well, I've got my tools and the most rustiest tools you've ever imagined. They're in my boat bag and uh, we're going to use them. First things first, I will undo the Allen key grub screws. Now, hopefully they'll be nice and loose because it's been not too long, there we are, lovely, since I uh, undone these, so uh, nice and easy, happy days. Okay, again that side, nice and easy. You can turn the rudder obviously if you need to. I'll give this a right greasing up the last time I had this off. There's no better thing than having a grease shaft, is there? Anyway, let's get back to it. Less of that. If there's a bit of heavy breathing, it's because I've got a bit of a cold. All left over from it anyway. Oh, needs a little bit more power there. That's one loose, and they're all turn it. go that's one out I'll tell you what I will do first I think it's undo that bolt there first before I undo the next one and, and uh, go from there I think it's a 17 mil which I'm gonna have to go and get out my bag Nope, it's going to be a 16 I reckon. Is it going to be an awkward size? I can't remember actually. Been a while, I've got a feeling it's going to be an awkward size. Yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, what's that? That is... I can't see. Right. Let's find the right size, shall we? Got the 17. Yeah, that's off. It's loose. I think what I'm going to have to do there, 
is undo the actual screw so it spins around a little bit so we find the right socket no thought it was the wrong one not prepared at all on this at all been a little bit lazy here to be fair should have got my other toolbox out I thought I had all the raw tools ready Use an adjustable. There we go. That's it. We're away. Happy days. That's that one off. Just nice and loose on the collar. There we go. Just put that down like that. And we'll go for the last bolt. And then hopefully we'll be all hunky dory and it'll fly out. Oh, there's that gone. Now, there we go. I'll just undo that grub screw a bit more, but it might be it's holding on the uh, bit of wood underneath the rudder. I put a bit of wood underneath the rudder so it didn't literally undo it and it fell, fell to the floor. I've uh, made sure of that. Anyway, let's get the rudder off. Well, there's a the rudder propped up on the bit of wood, as I said, and it's just a question of letting it drop down now. And it does weigh quite a bit, to be fair. And uh, so be careful, be prepared for it, and get yourself prepared to take the weight. So I'm going to straddle the rudder, lift it up, take the blocks away, and then just gently pull it down and it's a bit of a wiggle towards the end but there we go all out so happy days there is two O seals that go in this collar here don't ask me the size because I can't remember but if you want me to find out for you drop me a text in the old uh, chat or on Facebook shaky angler and uh, I'll let you know. But there's one up, one in there, just at the very bottom, and there's one further up the up the uh, shaft there. So, got it off. Let's put it aside, and we'll start taking the uh, the prop off. There's not a left lot left on my anode, but uh, let's get to it. Well, got an extension pole, got the spanner on it, adjustable. Let's see if this is going to come undone. Got the wood underneath the prop to, to stop it spinning. And uh, let's go for it. And will this come nice and easy? I can't remember. Look at that. Nice and easy. That wasn't too bad at all. Happy with that. Right, because the spanner, there. there we go. And it's nice and easy. 
There we are. Oh, the locking lug, which uh, I didn't show you me bending that back, but there's a locking lug there. Took that off. Take the, the wood away. Now it's on a, it's on a, obviously a tapered spline. It's got a keyway, so uh, let's get that done next. Get the puller on it and see if we can get it pulled off. Well, I forgot to mention that I've got to take the uh, locking lug off the road cutter, which is just here. There's a little Allen key lug, uh, Allen key bolt that holds it in position. Just going to undo that, get that slide out of the way so it gives me access to the back of the prop to get the puller on. So uh, let's get that done. Now, what size is it, we wonder? First time. Yep, nice and easy. That's one beauty thing of when you've done this job before recently. There's everything's all greased up and fairly easy to undo, which is nice. But what I do remember about this is it's half tight on the old shaft. That's for sure. And I can't remember if there's actually two lugs. So I'm going to take. I think there's a locking, there's one locking screw here, this I'm just undoing, and I believe there's one underneath it. So it's a double locking system. Let's get that out. Let's make sure we don't lose that. Put that nice and safely. And I believe there is another one. No, there's not. I lied, didn't I? Let's just see if there's another. No, just the one, which is good. I thought there was another one underneath, but obviously not. So, yep, that's that. So, I am going to put that back where it belongs, just so I don't lose it. There we go. Now, I've got a nice heavy duty puller here. show you. Look at that for a puller kit. Now that definitely will do the job. So uh, let's get it all set up and then we'll go for the pull. What I will do is I shall put some sort of strap around that prop so when it pops it don't fly off at me because that will hurt because that thing is heavy. Well, I have put a bit of rope just to take up the prop so it doesn't pop off. I've got the puller on and it's just a question I'm going to put a bit of tension on it and see what happens. Just going to nip these up. It's a hydro hydraulic puller press. <laughs> so I'm going to go to one side. and see what happens. Now I'm going to give it a, a bit of a, a gentle nudge with a bit of, uh, bit of wood and uh, a bit of vibration from a, a light tap. Nothing heavy, not beating the hell out of it. It's just a bit of gentle persuasion, that's all. So uh, let's get behind it and uh, Give it a gentle nudge. Hopefully it'll pop off nice and easy. So a stick of wood just behind it. It's 
not the easiest because I'm, I'm working in puddles here. So, again. I'm going to give it a gentle bit more pressure. And I'm going to give it a bit of warmth as well. Because sometimes that's just enough. A little bit of warmth does the trick. And it's gone. There we go. It's gone. A little bit of heat. Just all you need sometimes. Happy days. Now, they do weigh a ton, these props. So make sure you, you grab hold of it before it drops it. You can see the rope. If I had not tied that back, then it would have shot straight off and you probably might have damaged the... Uh, prop but and also it might hurt yourself so we've done it all the way around it's popped off and uh, that's it now it's just a matter of undoing the rope getting it off there's the ding on on the side there you may be able to see it may not but it's all working out more than happy with that let's get the prop and hang it on. It's lovely and shiny. It's almost like I don't want to put it on the other boat. I want to put it at home on the mantelpiece. But anyway, it's got to go back on the boat. Let's get it. There it is. Look at that lovely shiny prop. Absolutely beautiful. They've done an absolute lovely repair at Handball Propellers. And they've uh, always been really good with it. Me. Got it done super quick. And uh, you couldn't have asked for a better service, really, to be fair. So if you need a prop done, check them out. They really are good. They're on the south coast at Handball. No surprise there, being it's called Hamburg Pedders, is it? Anyway, let's uh, hang it on. Let's come down here a bit. In. That's it. There we go. It's on. Not quite locate, locating it correctly, but it's on there. Happy days. Now, don't forget to put the locker washer on. Get that done. And obviously, you end up. Let's get the wire brush and give it a clean. 
should have done this, shouldn't I, early, earlier on, but hey ho, this is what it is. We'll come back to you. Well, washer's on. Time to put the nut back on and just nip it up. Simple as that. Just gonna nip it up and then give it the torque torque up and that is it. So there we are. Prop is back on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget there is um, other videos of me taking the shaft out, doing the cutlass bearing, and also doing um, the shaft seal as well. So uh, check the videos out. Hope you enjoy. All about the Mary Fisher 805. And uh, if you don't mind subscribing to the channel, it's appreciated. I'm not an expert in any of this. It's just how I do it. If there's a different way to do it, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn something new, or something easier, or something better. So, uh, see you all later. See you next time.